Hey, today I'm gonna show you how to scrape two pretty visually similar websites but the scraping uh, will be pretty different because one of these websites has so-called hidden API and another website does not have any API uh, under the hood. So we're gonna leverage uh, Chrome DevTools, uh, which I consider a very useful tool for uh, web scraping. Okay, let's start. Um, so we have azurescan.io website and the list of transactions here. And let's say we want to extract these transactions to JSON. And we also have the transcan.org uh, website, which has a pretty similar list of transactions here. Um, and uh, let's see how this compares. Uh, okay, let's start with azurscan.io. So what do we do? We have a transaction uh, list here. So we click, right click, inspect to launch Chrome DevTools. Now we are uh, located in the DOM tree here on this transaction. And um, what I do next is I am trying to discover if the website is having any hidden API under the hood. So uh, I'm finding some unique sequence uh, which I can use to search. So here we can use this sequence of characters. And what we do next, we now refresh. Uh, this is a list which uh, refreshes very often. We need to redo this. So we take this sequence. Now we have uh, all the network requests here. So what do we do now? We activate Chrome DevTools. Now we click Command F and now we enter this string, this transaction hash here in the search to find where this sequence appears in sources of uh, all network requests. And um, Chrome DevTools shows us this one single result and this is the HTML. Um, now let's do the same stuff on transcan.org to see the difference. Um, we open the Chrome DevTools by clicking command, command option I on my MacBook. Refresh the page to start logging all the network requests. Now we grab some random transaction here. And now go back to network requests, click command F, search, and we have single result as well, but the big difference is that this is a raw JSON structure. And this is actually the hidden API that the transcan.org website uses to render all these DOM nodes. So basically, when writing our scraping code, we don't need to mess around the down trees and extracting all the structures from HTML. Instead, what we do, we just call this uh, request in our code and just get the JSON and extract all the data we need from this JSON. So what do we do on the azurescan.io? First, to be 100% sure that there is no any hidden API, what I would do, I would click the pagination here uh, because sometimes the subsequent pages are rendered not by uh, server but by client and this means that the second page on the front page would reveal the API but in case of Azure Scan, uh, after we click the search again and see the search, we see that this is still HTML. So unfortunately, for Azure Scan.io, what I would do to extract all the transactions, I would just extract it from HTML. So basically, what I would do 
I would copy the this request as curl. So basically what I need to do now is to close this one and define it here. Quick filter would help me. Copy as curl. Now I launch my terminal. And so I retrieve the HTML page here. And now I use Cheerio or any other uh, HTML extraction libraries, but I prefer Cheerio to extract uh, the data from this HTML. So uh, how do we extract it? Uh, Chrome DevTools is useful in this regard as well. So what I would do, I would uh, extract the uh, using CSS selectors and you can get it from Chrome Inspector. We can just do copy and copy selector and uh, this is how it would lo look like here. You see, this is pretty useful. Uh, this selector is not perfect, definitely, but it might save you a lot of time when writing the Cheerio extraction code. Thank you for watching and bye bye.